Hello Leute, today we are going to learn about German alphabets. Das Alphabet. German alphabets are same as like English alphabets. There is only a little bit of difference in pronunciations. So first we learn about the 36 alphabets. After that we will learn some of extra alphabets that are only in German. So first one. In English it is pronounced as A and in German it is A. For example, A for apple. The next one is B, it is pronounced as B in English and B in German. Example Banane, that is banana. So next one is B. It is pronounced as B in German and example is D banane. D is the article, banane is feminine. Third one, C. It is pronounced as C in English and in German, C. For example, Say day. It is same as CD that we use in English. Say CD, but it is pr pronounced as say day. So already I have said that D is pronounced as day. Day same as day. Uh, so, for example, day, we can say Deutschland. Deutschland means Germany. The next letter is E. We pronounce it as E in English and in German A. For example, elephant, same as elephant. Uh, this word fish is same as English fish, but there is only a spelling difference. Then next one is G and it is pronounced as gay. Gay. And for example, we can say D guitare. Any guess what is guitare? Same guitar. Then H. It's pronounced as ha. Ha. For example, house thus house and same as house in english then it's in english it's i and in german it is pronounced as e and for example indian for example, we can say that ich komme aus Indian, meaning I am coming from India. The next alphabet is J and it is pronounced as Jot in German. Jot. For example, yogurt or 
we can also use or say in english we say japan and in german we say japan then the next is k and it is in german ka the next letter is k and it is in german we pronounce ka for example we can say kuli kuli is in english it is said as just pen kuli or we can also say krangen house krangen house krangen house bedeutet hospital then the next alphabet is l l it is pronounced as same as in english and for example we can say libe libe meaning love then the next word is m it is also pronounced as same as in english m and for example we can say man man and it is man the next alphabet is n n it is also same as in english n for example we can say nagal na gal and it is nail the next is o the next alphabet is o and it is pronounced as o in german for example we can say d orange d orange and it's orange then the next is p p for example papier papier and it is paper the next alphabet is q and it is pronounced as ku ku and for example we can say kus in english it is pronounced as quiz and in german kus now the next alphabet is r and it is pronounced as r in german r as we say how we say air in english air same pronunciation air and for example we can say rot rot meaning red then s s is pronounced as same s as in english and example we can say son son bedeutet son the next alphabet is t and it is pronounced as t in german t and for example we can say t der t and it is t then we are moving to the next alphabet and it is u in english and in german it is pronounced as u u 
and for example over over in english it is pronounced as u and in german it's u for example we can say over over means clock so the next alphabet is v it is pronounced as v in english and in german it is pronounced as v v and for example we can say vogel v is pronounced as v in german and we say vogel vogel meaning bird then moving to w and w is in german w for uh, w we can say wag wag it is pronounced as wag similar to v wag meaning path then x x is pronounced as x x and for example we can say xylophone 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 is a musical instrument so we can say xylophone so now we are moving to y and y is pronounced as upsilon it is said as upsilon and for example yak yak v is pronounced as upsilon so the we are moving to the last alphabets it is is said in english and it is pronounced as z in german z and for example we can say zebra zebra here we are giving a extra addition extra or a additional stress to the word z so it is pronounced as zebra zebra uh, in german there are three more characters other than this uh, main 26 alphabets they are called die umlaute the first one is a uh, the we are adding two extra dots above the a so without umlaut we are we pronounce it as a and with umlaut we are pronounce it as a then next is u without umlaut we are pronounced as uber and with umlaut it changed into u uber uber then yo the last umlaut is o with a with two dots above then it is pronounced as yo for example we can say hearing here we can say we can see for example we can say hearing in hearing i used o umlaut that is hearing without o umlaut we say it as horen it is horen and with umlaut it is hearing the last alphabet is or last character in german alphabet is s it it is written just like a beta and it is used when in the case of double s for example double s that for example we can use gross this is s set and meaning big gross meaning big das ist alles über alphabet ich hoffe das alles klar ist danke